and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, Reveal Wheel Circle Sentiments. This set is so cool because it works with Reveal Wheel, it works on its own, and even works with our new balloon stackables and the Magic Iris. And today we're going to be going over a bunch of different ideas, so let's go ahead and check it out. This stamp set has some cool circular shape sentiments that work perfectly with Reveal Wheel and on their own too. So we have Happy Birthday to you, I love you, I love you, Wishing you a very happy day, and you make my world go round. There are also some other images in this set. So we have a plain circle, I'll show you how to use in a little bit, and also a world. We have a plain arrow and one that says turn me for the reveal wheel. And then we have these cute little faces that you can use as well. We have the sunglasses one, a cute little smiley one, a plain smiley, and also a little kissy face. We also have kind of this little winky smirky face here. And then we've got cute little rosy cheeks that you can add to those faces and a smaller face that fits perfectly on the world and rosy cheeks for that face too. We have some little music notes that goes great with the happy birthday to you. And then we also have some sentiments. So we have happy birthday, we have sending smiles, and then these things you can mix with sending smiles. So sending miles to brighten your, and then day, or you could have sending smiles your way instead. We have I love you, and then the word endlessly, which is cute with this kind of spinning reveal wheel concept, and then an exclamation point that you can add to the ends of your phrases. Next up, we're using Copic markers to color these images in, and there's a bunch of cute different ways that you can color them. So for this first one, we're coloring each word in a different color, and that's a really, really cute thing. It's also really easy to do because it's just one marker for each word, just filling it in nice and quick. For this one, we're doing kind of a gradient. So we're starting with a dark red and then moving on to the lighter reds and then through the lighter pinks. So it's gonna kind of give this almost like ombre gradient effect as you spin the wheel, as it gets lighter and lighter and then goes back to the dark colors. For this happy one, we're gonna do each letter is gonna be a color. So that's gonna give us a cute little rainbow order here, which I think is really fun. And then for the last one, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a gradient in each letter. So we're gonna put a dark color at the bottom of each letter and then blend it out with a lighter color towards the top. And that might be one of my favorite looks. Another fun way to use those phrases is just to stamp them in really bright, fun colors of inks as well. So you can either color them or maybe stamp them out in a pink or a blue or a purple. Here we're adding some color to the earth here, so we're just going to add some blues and greens in there. And then for that plain circle there, we're going to color that yellow because the idea of this is a smiley face. You know, like that classic yellow smiley face? So it's going to work with Reveal Wheel, and I will show you guys that in a second. The back of the packaging of Reveal Wheel Circle Sentiments has some really great information, so you're going to want to save this. And it tells you which sentiments work with which Reveal Wheel windows. So our Circle A sentiments, and I'll explain those in a second, are going to work with our Circle window and also that Heart window. And then our Circle B sentiments are going to work with the original Reveal Wheel arc and also that semi-circle arc that we have. The stamp set is clearly labeled with which sentiments are circle A and which are circle B. And these top two are circle A and they're going to work with that style of window and the bottom two are circle B and they're going to work with that other arc style of window. These are the coordinating dies in the set which you can bend apart at the tabs or you can use your wire snips to separate them. And we're going to take those dies and we're going to line them up with their stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine. And here you can see those die cut elements. We have the world, the circle, the arrow, and the music notes. Now with that circle with the smiley face, there's another die set in this set and it's kind of a smaller size circle. And you'll see that that's gonna fit right in there perfectly. It's gonna line up with that black edge is gonna be on the outside of that die. So we're gonna line that up and hold that in place with some low tack tape. And the reason we're gonna do that is, is this is gonna create a circular shaped frame that's gonna line up perfectly with our circular window opening in our reveal wheel. So we're gonna drop that circle window into our reveal wheel, we'll die cut it, and you'll see that that circle will fit perfectly. So I love the idea of coloring this yellow and then having a wheel that's yellow with different faces changing. It's gonna kinda of have that classic yellow smiley face thing. 
Now these are the templates for the reveal wheel circle sentiments. And these templates are very carefully labeled A and B to go along with those reveal wheel sentiments. And don't worry, we're gonna be creating cards with these so you guys are gonna see how these all work together. But as you take a look at these templates, you can see that etched in the top is A, so you know it's gonna work with all the A sentiments from your stamp set. And then etched on the top of the other one is B to work with the B sentiments of the stamp set. And so here is a look at how that works. You can see the A sentiments are a little bit smaller, and so that little template there is gonna fit perfectly over those, and the B ones are a little bit bigger, and those are gonna fit perfectly on those. And they're labeled right on your stamp set, so you don't have to make any guesses, you'll know exactly what works with what. So to use these templates, all we're gonna do is die cut a wheel from the reveal wheel, and we're gonna take our template and see which one we're using. We've got the B one here, so we're gonna take a B sentiment and stamp that right in. And this is so quick and easy because it's one stamping for the reveal wheel, and that's it. So that template helps you line it up perfectly. So these two are the B size, and then we're gonna move on here to our A template and stamp the A sized ones. And it's one quick stamp, and your reveal wheel is ready to go, which I just love. And so here's a look at the four different sentiments that we have on the different wheels there. And then here is a look at our circle A there going through that circular window in the reveal wheel. So you can see how it's gonna kind of peek through and the phrase is gonna form as we turn the wheel. So that's what makes them a little bit different and really, really cool. And so let's go ahead and start creating with these. So here we have some Hello Sunshine Luna paper, and we're gonna take out some reveal wheel. And so this is my magnetic sheet here where I keep all my reveal wheel stuff. And I wanna use the square add-on here. So I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna be using that semi-circle arc there. And we're also gonna be taking out the wheel base and the wheel. So we're gonna drop that semi-circle window into the puzzle piece opening of that square reveal wheel. And then we're going to die cut this beautiful paper here. We're also going to die cut it again without our semicircle in there so that we can have a base for our reveal wheel. The semicircle window is special. It has this little extra metal there that helps you line it up so that you can create a full circle. So we're going to flip the die over and just line up the edge of the die with the bottom edge of that opening. Hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine, and now we're going to have a full circular opening. You can use those circle B sentiments either with just the plain semicircle or with this double opening that we're doing now. So here we have some spiffy speckles paper and we're gonna die cut the wheel from that paper. And we want to use the you make my world go around sentiment from this set. So we're gonna take a look at the set and that is a circle B here. So that means I need to take out my B template. Now I wanted to show you a different way to use your templates and that's in the MISTI. You can just butt your wheel up into the corner of your MISTI and then your template into the corner and use a magnet to hold it in place and do your stamping that way. So we're gonna take our stamp here and we're gonna line it up with that template which has been held in place with the magnet. And then we can take the door of our MISTI and pick that up and do some stamping. And this is a nice quick way too to stamp a bunch of these to make a bunch of these cards. So we're gonna stamp that right onto our wheel there and just make sure that it goes on really nice and we're stamping that in some jet black ink so that we can do a little bit of coloring. So we're just gonna do something nice and quick. We're gonna color in our heart red and then the world we're gonna do in a little rainbow order, kind of like we did earlier with the happy. We've die cut the small wheel base and we've also taken out a brad. We're gonna put it up through that wheel base and then up through the main wheel. We're gonna open up those prongs, securing it in place. Then we're gonna flip the wheel over and we're gonna add some foam squares onto that wheel base around the brad, but not touching the brad. Then we can remove that liner paper and flip our wheel over and look through our window to line up our words. Once they're in perfect placement, we can hold that in place with our fingers and then line it up with our base piece. We're gonna push down attaching that wheel to the base piece. Once we have that wheel on there, we can take some foam squares around that wheel, but not touching the wheel, peel off the liner paper, and then put our frame that we created earlier right on top. Now you can see how that's gonna spin in there, which is so super cool. So we're gonna take that earth that we colored and die cut earlier, and that's a perfect fit for right in between that. So it's gonna look like the words are now growing around the earth, which I think is so, so cool. 
Now, something unique about these sentiments is that you're going to be spinning them in the counterclockwise motion. So the stamp set, the reveal wheel circle sentiment stamp set, has the arrow going in the opposite direction. Now, when I stamp the arrows, I always just take a scrap piece of paper I've die cut with my reveal wheel base piece, and I stamp with that because if not, I have a tendency to get ink on the front of my card. And yes, I did that on this card. I had to remake it. <laughs> and so now I'm going to have that template there always so that it's my guide to stamp. Then I can add foam squares to the back of everything and layer that on top and now it's free from any ink and then we can layer that right onto a card base. So now you see we're going to turn that wheel and those words are going to go around the world. I think it's so super cute, so fun, and so quick and easy to make. And I love that it gives the reveal wheel a totally different look with having these words that where the sentiment kind of builds instead of having a bunch of different sentiments that change. Next up, we're going to be working with one of these Circle A sentiments. And in this case, we're going to be using our brand new balloon frames that are gonna go along with our circle window. So we're gonna take out our big reveal wheel magnet sheet here. We're gonna take out the original reveal wheel here, uh, the wheel and the wheel base, and we're also gonna take the circular shaped window. So we're using a different window this time with the stamp set. So we're gonna take that window and we're gonna pop that into that puzzle piece opening in the reveal wheel and die cut some of this super cute rainbow Hello Sunshine remix paper. Now one of the things I love about this reveal wheel circle sentiment set is that it gives a totally different look to the reveal wheel. So what it does is now we have a sentiment that's building instead of a bunch of different ones and that's definitely what we're going to be working with today here. So we've popped out that window opening and we've die cut a base without the window opening. We've also die cut a wheel from mermaid cardstock and a wheel base from white cardstock. And we're going to be using the happy birthday to you which is circle A which means we're going to take out our A template and we're going to line that up. And this time we're going to be stamping this in some peacock ink and that's it. So look how easy it was to create this reveal wheel. All we did was stamp once in some pretty color of ink and that's it. So now we can start forming our reveal wheel. So we're going to put the brad up through the wheel base and then up through the main wheel and we'll open up those prongs and hold them in place. Then we can flip it over and add some foam squares to that wheel base around the brad but not touching the brad. We'll peel up that liner paper and then we can flip over our wheel and we're going to look through that circle opening and we're going to line up our letters. Once they look like they're about in the center of that circle opening, we know we're in perfect placement and then we can line it up with that base we cut earlier and we're going to press down and attach the wheel to that base. And already there you can see how that phrase starts to build as you spin the wheel. So here we've got our balloon and our balloon string, and this is one of the new frame dies that goes with that circle window. And we've die cut that from mermaid cardstock and guava cardstock. We're going to add those on with our glue tube. We're going to take out the new Really High Five stamp set, and we're going to stamp, color, and die cut that cute little bear, mouse, and some fun party hats. So we're going to use the glue tube to attach the party hats onto our bear and mouse, and then we're going to place them on the card, but not attach them quite yet because they're just going to be there for placement so we can do a little bit of stamping. And so we're going to be stamping some of the phrases from the stamp set, and there's a little wee and a yay, which I thought would be really cute with these guys floating around. And today Today we're recreating a card by Jen, so thank you so much, Jen. So we're going to be stamping the yay and the wee, and then now that those have been stamped, we can start attaching our characters. So I just wanted them to not be in the way as I did my stamping. I'm going to attach the characters first, and then attach the string so that I can perfectly place the string to be in their paws. So I want both of them kind of hanging off that balloon. So we're going to attach that string there and there, and then glue that down onto the card with our glue tube. To continue on with the rainbow theme we have in that pattern paper, we're going to take our rainbow stripe from Hello Sunshine and we're going to add that to a standard size card base at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we're going to be using our little stamping trick again here. So I'm just going to use a reveal wheel piece that I cut out that's just out of scrap paper and I'm going to be stamping that arrow that says turn me from the stamp set. So we're stamping that out in some black licorice ink so the recipient knows what to do. We're going to put foam squares around the wheel but not touching the wheel and then we can layer our decorated panel right on top. Then we'll flip that whole piece over and add a bunch of foam squares and then we can add that down onto the card base. And I absolutely love how this looks when you spin the wheel because the phrase is starting to build. So as the recipient spins it, they're going to get to kind of read what it's going to say, which I think is so much fun. 
The other cool thing is how quickly you can build that wheel because you only have to stamp once instead of three or four times for the different window openings. So I love that it's taken reveal wheel and kind of changed it into something just a little bit different with one stamp set. So next up, we're gonna show you how to use this stamp set without the reveal wheel because it's a really cool set that works with both. And we're gonna be using the largest outside in stitched rectangle to cut some of that pretty rainbow striped paper from Hello Sunshine Remix. We're also gonna be using some outside in and normal stitched rectangles to die cut both some storm cloud and guava cardstock. We'll take out our reveal wheel sentiment set and we're gonna be using that same you make my world go round sentiment. And so we're gonna be using that same one but without the reveal wheel. So we're gonna be doing some white heat embossing. So we're gonna add our anti-static powder tool so that when we stamp with our nice sticky clear embossing ink and we add our embossing powder, it's only gonna to stick to that ink and not to the rest of our cardstock. So we're gonna stamp out our sentiment phrase here and we're gonna add our white embossing powder and we're also going to be doing that with the earth too onto some storm cloud cloud stock. So we're gonna stamp that world there and then add our white embossing powder and then heat those both up with the heat tool. Now to add some color here, Shari had the idea to use her colored pencils. And this is one of those techniques that I had kind of forgotten about, that you can use colored pencils onto your darker colored cardstock and create this really, really cool look. So as you can see, she's just kind of going over and over again until it builds up the color. And then she's gonna be filling in the heart and the words kind of in that rainbow order like we did earlier with the markers. But I just love the look. It's kind of got this school chalkboard look that I just really think looks amazing. So we're gonna take out the coordinating die and cut out the earth. And the earth is gonna be in the center of this sentiment again, but once again, without the interactive element. To add a little extra interest onto this dark gray cardstock, we're gonna take some gold watercolor paint, add some water to it, pick it up, and then tap the paintbrush to create splatters all around. It's a nice, simple technique that really makes the paper look special. We're gonna take out the Mermaid Lagoon Sparkle Lawn Trimmings. And so this is brand new and it's beautiful because it's got this sparkly tinsel in it, but it also has this really cool gradient effect. So it goes from dark blue to light blue to purple. And so you see as we wrap it around the card, you can see all of those colors change and how pretty it looks. So we're gonna wrap it around a couple times so you can see that color change happening and then tie a little bow there. And I think it's such a cute look. And because the twine changes color, it just makes it that much more special. So we'll trim off any of that excess and now we can start to form this cute and simple card. So we're gonna layer that whole panel on with foam tape onto that pink piece so that it's got this great thin little border. And then we can start to layer the rest of our pieces. So we're gonna add our rainbow stripe to our standard size mermaid cardstock card base. And then we'll layer the rest of our decorated panel and we're also gonna attach that earth to the center of our card. And now this card is all done. So I love that we've used reveal wheel circle sentiments in three ways. One, without the reveal wheel. One, using a smaller opening so that the phrase builds up. And two, using a bigger opening so you see the whole phrase spin at once. So much fun and so cool. And here we have some super cute versions using this set with the design team. And first up here with Megan, we have a really cute one using the original arc window in our reveal wheel. And I love that it says, you make my world go round with the aliens. I think it's absolutely adorable. Now something else really cool about Reveal Wheel Circle Sentiments is that it fits in the new balloons and here Elena shows us how incredibly cool that is and it's such a cute way to create a shaker with a sentiment on the inside. Here Audrey has used the You Make My World Go Round without the Reveal Wheel with this beautiful watercolor background that's just stunning. And then here Elise has used it with the new speech bubble frame and the circle window. And as you spin it, the I love you shows up. And then at the top it says I love you endlessly, which is so cute with those charge me up robots. I think it's just absolutely adorable. One more super cool thing about the reveal wheel that Grace shows us here is that these circle sentiments, the circle A size, the smaller size, fits perfectly into the magic iris as well. So now you can use these sentiments with reveal wheel on their own, with magic iris, or with our brand new balloon stackables. So I'm so excited about this stamp set. I absolutely cannot wait to see what you guys create with it because I know it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.